The next part of the question is to calculate the out loan outstanding at the end of year 3 using the retrospective method. The retrospective method formula is the future value of the loan minus the future value of the paid instalments. We would like to know the value of the loan in the future at the end of year 3, so we use the future value of the single cash flow because we get the loan once. Then we need to subtract the paid instalments as we are paid a part of the loan already, so we can use the future value of ordinary annuity because we've paid the periodic instalments. So our formula is that the future value of the remaining unpaid instalments, which is equal to the loan amount, multiplied by the open bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close bracket, to the power of the number of paid periods, minus the periodic instalment multiplied by the open, the first bracket, and the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of the number of paid periods, minus 1, close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate. We have a loan amount of $10,000, a periodic instalment of $2,054.05, the effective annual interest rate of 10%, the total number of periods, which is 7 years, and the, total, the number of paid instalments, which is 3 years. So, our formula is the loan outstanding at end of year 3 is equal to the loan amount of $10,000 multiplied by, open bracket, 1 plus the interest rate of 10%, close bracket, to the power of the number of paid periods, which is three years, minus the periodic instalment of $2,054.05 multiplied by, open the first bracket, and the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate of 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of the number of paid periods, which is 3, minus 1, close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate of 10%. This gives us 13,310 minus 6,798.92, which is equal to 6,511.08. Another way to check our answer is to look at the loan amortization schedule. We will find that the loan outstanding at the end of year 3, which is the ending balance, is equal to 6,511.08, which is exactly the same as our calculation from the formula. The next part of the question is to calculate the loan outstanding at the end of year 3 using the prospective method. The prospective method formula is the present value of unpaid instalments. So we use the present value of ordinary annuity because there are future equivalent unpaid instalments. So our formula is the present value of the remaining unpaid instalments which is equal to the periodic instalments multiplied by, open the first bracket, 1 minus open the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of, negative open bracket, the number of total periods, minus the number of paid periods, close bracket, close the first bracket again, all divided by the interest rate. We have the periodic instalment of $2,054.05, the effective annual interest rate of 10%, the total number of periods of 7 years, and the number of paid instalments is 3 years. So, our formula is loan outstanding at the end of year 3 is equal to the periodic instalment of $2,054.05 multiplied by, open the first bracket, 1 minus, open the second bracket, 1 plus the interest rate of 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of, negative open bracket, the number of total periods, which is 7 years, minus the number of paid instalments, which is 3 years, close bracket, and close the first bracket, all divided by the interest rate of 10%, and this gives us $6,511.08. Another way to check our answer is to look at the loan amortization schedule. We will find that the loan outstanding at the end of year 3, which is the ending balance, is equal to $6,511.08, which is exactly the same as our calculation from the formula.